with the brood, taking it in. They've got their uh, Christmas card done right there. You know, we saw that picture of the coach Scaloni crying. And, you know, this is, this is a guy that, that played with Messi, that understood Messi, that set Messi up. And ultimately, I think those tears were for the burden or the burden being lifted from him and these players. Since now, I think, setting in with Messi of joy. But it, it, it did feel like relief, finally. I, nobody can ever understand the amount of pressure he felt for his country. That's a nice little thing to say, yeah, but that's not on the table anymore about not winning the World Cup. I did the exact same thing, ultimately, that Diego Maradona uh, did. We can go back and forth about who you like more, but if you're talking about, ultimately, you have to win a World Cup, this man has had his moment. And so that debate and that conversation, that evergreen conversation that we have about who the GOAT is, and yes, Rob Stone, there should only be one GOAT when it comes to it. There's a lot of people that look at that guy right there. Maybe even before the game, they didn't need it, but after the game, they have it in their pocket to play, and that is a trump card. So you know what he did to today, Lex, that we haven't seen in the tournament is what we just showed in the highlight is some of that defending and that dirty work. And you knew how much it meant to him. His demeanor throughout the tournament, the way he was with uh, opponents and coaches, and he had a little nasty edge to him. You could tell how much it meant to him. But I will just say, first, I love that he scored with his right foot because you <laughs> very rarely see him do that. Um, he's a special player. When we turn, for us, you're older, Lex. You saw it live probably. But for us, when we were young, we used to put a VHS tape in and we would watch Maradona play. And it looked like he was playing athletically and psychologically so much faster than everyone else. And when you watch the highlights of Messi, and this is against elite athletes today, he's doing the same thing. And he's doing the same thing. He's playing at a whole different speed than everyone else. But what what's so impressive is at 35 yeah. doing that with the speed of everybody and he did it throughout the whole tournament all the minutes that he played yep. and what an impact he made especially when it mattered the most in the knockout games I mean he carried this team on his back he did have the supporting cast that we talked about in terms of Alvarez Martinez D Di Maria uh, talk about Enzo Fernandez what a tournament that he had and, and others but man what a special play he, he's an, he's also he's an idol even among stars I mean we saw Netti come up and get a, get a selfie there with him there. We've seen Aguero, all these, all these players that are in their own right, incredible legends of the game. But this guy's at a whole nother level. And I think they recognize that they are, they are among <laughs> and they are in the midst of seeing something special that is going to be talked about for decades and decades, if not centuries to come in terms of how impactful he is. And sometimes we take it for granted. I don't think anybody, especially in this moment on this field, they don't want it to end. And taking it for granted, not just winning, but winning with this special person. I want to uh, share one of the most special moments of my career was, as the soccer gods would have it, my 100th cap came against a friendly in New York against Argentina, and Messi was the captain. And he didn't, leading up to the game, he didn't really want to be there. And I think it was one of those things where it was like he had to play at least 45 minutes. It was set up that way. And he went on the field. I, everyone knew he didn't want to be there. We all knew he didn't. And for 45 minutes, I was literally on the field of him. There was one play, Lex. He got the ball near midfield, and about four of us tried to foul him to slow him down, and he just bounced off, bounced off, bounced off, bounced. We couldn't drag the guy down. He just was so special, and I never played against a player like that. There's nobody like him ever. That at least I played against, and I think most people would say the same. And he's a very different type of human being. Uh, and he's not the big, bold, arrogant, in, in, in the best possible way, I don't say that as, as a pejorative, uh, that Zlatan is, or Giano is, um, and, and that sometimes works against him, but there are different forms to gods, you know? And this, from a soccer perspective, is a soccer god, and he will continue to be for, like I said, many, many years from now. And again, not that he needed this, but you can see him being unburdened. And at times it was, I mean, it was an albatross around his neck. And this moment that he gets to share with family and his friends and his teammates it's also just to be able to exhale and say I have done that and he would have been a legendary even without it but it's it's a whole nother it's a whole nother level when you're talking about how important he is and what a wonderful player he is what does a uh, albatross running make it means it's a burden it means it's a burden okay. that you carry with you I've never and heard ultimately that. you want to get that 
off. It, it doesn't always know, come off. It doesn't always come off. He wants to know what an albatross is first. It's a weight. It's a weight. I thought it's it was a, a, wait, I I it was a bird. bird. It's a bird. No, but the, the bird is the weight that you're okay. carrying around. Oh. Hey, you learn something there, every day, man. There we Appreciate go, that. There Aren't we there go, heavier man. birds than an albatross? I mean, or is an albatross big? You can't shoot it, Clint. So, I mean, you know. Okay. <laughs> this messy cam is amazing. I mean, it is human after human coming over to essentially kiss the ring, yep. get a picture, get a hug with one of, if not the greatest athlete we've ever seen. Good luck being the usher that has to steer him away and off this floor of that stadium. You think this is it? I think this is it for his national team. To me, it feels like this is a perfect place to, to say goodbye and, and thank you. I don't know. What if they had, what if they hadn't won in penalties? What if what if what if they had lost to France today? I think if they had lost, I mean, you guys can chime in. I think if they had lost, he would, he would, he would mow it. Let's think about it. Yeah. Well, you think if he plays in MLS for the next three years, there's a World Cup in the States. Right there. They come asking. You think he's going to say no? I mean, he's he's kept his body. I mean, to your point, Landon. Part of what makes him incredible is his ability to ride off tackles, and he's kept himself healthy. Yes, yeah. he's had some injuries, but not major ones. And you know, who knows? But to be able to kind of say that this is done, maybe this makes the decision for him. Four champions titles, Clint, seven Ballon d'Ors, which is given to the, the best player in international soccer. Do you think could he's in line for number eight? I think he is. What more could you have done? Yeah, I mean. He's on fire for Remarkable. Club. Remarkable. He's won the World Cup for his country. The only thing that he hasn't been able to do. Uh, with the winner. Shirt off immediately and into tears as he was able to help earn that man. It's sponsored by Prudential. Liliana Martinez helping Argentina get the World Cup. Huge save there in the penalty kick shoot. It's just one of those games and one of these moments. It's so hard to process, I think, right in this moment. I loved every minute of that, man, and I feel fortunate in looking back and thinking about how this game will be remembered in years and years from now, that, that we were all a part of this. We were in this building for that, that we covered this event. It's it's an honor, it's a privilege. What a game. And uh, I just say thank you to those players that have left it all out there tonight. Truly the best game I've ever seen. And the thing that I can't help thinking is we just the emotional scenes of Bedlam around us from the Argentine journalists. It's going to be fun when we win this thing in 2026 <laughs> and get to be on the other side. All right, Rob, back to you. <laughs> Uh, no pressure there at all. All right, Messi finally getting his hands on the one trophy that has eluded him throughout his spectacular career and in many people's eyes. It sets him as the greatest player of all time. And this is amazing. This is a time-lapse video from Plaza de Republic in Buenos Aires. It begins in extra time, and it takes you right up to just about now. Look at all the ants scurrying in blue and white and converging. Oh. That's a World Cup. That's what a World Cup can do to you. My goodness. Lucille we'll Stadium hosted the greatest World Cup game ever. Our final thoughts coming up next. The 22nd edition of the World Championship of the World's Game. Raise our anthem and sing. A million voices we scream. Wave our flag in victory. upsets in World Cup history. It's there! Japan have done it again! This is astonishing! That is Jogo Benito. That is the beautiful game. Ronaldo! We will win! And that is just what South Korea needed! Belgium are out of the World Cup. It's a dagger in the heart of Germany. Captain America lays it all on the line for his country. The world can be Welcome to the business end of the FIFA World Cup. It is win or go home time. He's a superstar. Home to Morocco make it! Morocco make history! This is Samba Soccer. It's party time in Doha. Save Livakovic! Croatia wins! The emotion of a World Cup. Look at that. This young group gave this team and this country some moments to be proud of. Let it a battle cry. We will never divide. Lock in arms, this is our time. And that's it. Croatia do it again. Portugal and Brazil are 
about drowning in a sea of heartbreak. As he dances around, turns the corner, gets inside him, cuts it back. What a performance tonight. The Mbappe weaving through deflected shot. It's free on the far side. So that is a killer blow. The world is ours. This is the World Cup final. Messi scores. Mbappe. Messi the magician once again. Argentina can win the World Cup with this kick. Yes. Lionel Messi, World Cup champion. He didn't wait around. He made substitutions in the first half, in the second half, and they paid off ultimately. This ball in and out. Um, oh my goodness. Back to Mbappe. And just like that. Uh, duh. Again, huge, huge play here. Tracking back. Oh, come on. Just flights this one in. One, two. And he just takes this one out of the air. And he waits, Lex. He lets the ball come all the way down yep. so you don't hit it over. What a finish that is. Their first two shots on goal were goals. Courtesy of Mbappe. And you're curious, is France going to be able to get another one? I don't know if this is a foul in the box or not. They choose to play on. Rabio gets a shot. It looks like the defender needs the ball back to Martinez, but they never showed a replay to see where that was, if he was actually inside or not. But uh, close chance for France. Uh, Argentina was hanging on for their lives at this point. Yeah, the momentum in this, this game just went back and forth and back and forth. Messi right at the end, so France had that chance. Messi cuts inside. Could he win? And he just gets this one, takes a touch, which, like you can see here again, if the, if the, the rebound here comes back. And then, I mean, this is just desperation defending from France, but the opportunities were there. And what more did Messi have to do? He had a part to play in every single goal uh, on the day today. Um, here's a ball into uh, Martinez. And then there's Messi again, getting the goal when you need it most. He had a part to play in all three goals. And uh, what a player he is. There was a brief offside shout. And then Messi able to get this one across the line. But his right out. foot. Rob is right foot. Right. He has a right foot as well. Look at that. Just kept him onside. <laughs> <laughs> so for Messi, that was his seventh goal, 13th in World Cup competition. He was your golden boot winner at that point until... Well, no, it's over, right? Of nope. course they won this time. Nope. Balls to Mbappe. Handball. Montiel has his arm out. Uh -oh. Absolutely a penalty. You cannot do that. Who's going to take it for the second time? Sent him the wrong way. Lloris tried to outthink him. Three, three. This game was... Oh, and like what I've talked about, was quiet up until she got that penalty. And then he just came to life. You guys have been talking. It's brothers. He's saying, hey, this is happening. This is happening. Un, deux, trois. Three right. goals and a hat trick, and you don't score in There you go. Game. Landon, you mentioned minutes or moments throughout this tournament. How about this one? Mm. Oh, full I extension. mean, a huge, huge save on a breakaway. Kola Mouani, and Martinez just comes up huge. So we go to penalties. And Alice, again, his third penalty. Which way will he go, Deuce? I Not thought, again. I thought, I thought he was going to go in the middle, but man. <laughs> Three, three times right. Mar Martinez got a little piece of that. Messi started it for Argentina, slides that one in. And Hugo looked like he was going a little bit early. He was. I think if he would have saved, maybe. There's the save. Had a better chance. Uh, and it come on by Martinez. Got a nice jump. He got all of it. He was yeah. well past it. And then Jomeni doesn't yeah. even hit the. It's amazing, the Lex. Yep. Every professional can at least hit the target from 12 yards out at any moment. But you get a penalty shootout and you can. And then here's the winner from Montiel. And how about as a kid? That's what you dream about. You're like, oh, yeah. you know, you're out on the field and you're like, final of the World Cup in a penalty and then, and then making it to, to win a penalty. Dempsey country. steps up. He scores! <laughs> oh, look at the reaction. Amazing, man. Scaloni, the manager. Man, Messi's family. Fine and pops on the field. Emmy Martinez, the Golden Glove winner. Kylian Mbappe with the French president. Di Maria celebrating also his first World Cup. He has been so integral in the growth of Argentina, maintaining themselves at such a high level. And there it is, the Messiah Messi lifting the gold finally. 4-2 on penalties. Third World Cup crown for Argentina. Small consolation for Kylian Mbappe. Takes home the golden boot after becoming just the second player to score a hat trick in a men's World Cup final. Go back to 1966. England. Jeff first, the other. So eight goals, one more than Lionel Messi, and there is Messi with.